I'm Sherry, and I've been a training and development coordinator at Hospice of the Western Reserve for about four and a half years now. And I feel that I'm very lucky in my position because I support the work of team members um, throughout the entire agency. I go from Ashtabula to Summit out to Lorain County and everywhere in between. And I work with seasoned hospice team members as well as orient the newbies into our wonderful organization. Um, author Rachel Stanworth once wrote, it's not what we know but how we are with patients that makes all the difference in their care. What I have discussed and captured with our staff is how how do we create ideal care experiences for everyone with whom we come in contact. At Hospice the Western Reserve we know the value of everyone working together to build healing and supportive relationships that our communication both verbal and nonverbal is always laced with professional compassion. Integral to our training and development work with staff is to make sure that they understand ways to instill and exude confidence in their work. So how can we enhance our ability to communicate and educate in such a way that families and patients feel safe and supported during their end of life journey? When we visit our patients in nursing facilities, assisted living centers, and group homes, we also want to ensure that we collaborate with the professional staff in those facilities so that everyone is always updating one another and focused together in delivering ideal patient care. What it comes down to is capturing the best practices of our incredibly competent and compassionate staff. We want to ensure that all Hospice of the Western Reserve staff members continuously focus on creating the ideal for others. Um, I laminate and distribute various quotes during my workshops and this Maya Angelou quote seems to fit well here. People will forget what you said and people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And that, to me, seems to capture the essence of the why of our incredible hospice work at Hospice the Western Reserve.